What's going on guys, this is Paul with Bearcat Warehouse. Today I'm going to be showing you one of our analog models, the BC125AT. I'm also going to be showing you some of the quick functions on the keypad, and I'm also going to be showing you how to program this using the 125 programming software. So basically this radio has the universal power symbol, so you go ahead and press that in. Right, as you can see, I'm already in scan mode. I do have this programmed, however, there isn't very much analog here, so I put the analog channels that I'm able to scan in here. So basically, once you have it programmed, um, if you want to put it on hold on a specific frequency, it's very simple. You just basically hit the hold key, and then you're able to dial through everything that you have programmed. And then to get out of this, you just basically go back into the scan mode. The second way to scan on this would be to use the service search. You just basically hit the search key and then I'll search the bands. You can also do the function key and then hit the search and then it will you know, show you the actual individual agency that you're scanning through their frequencies. So to get out of any menu, like I said, you just basically hit the scan key. So secondly on this, close call options, you hit the function key and then the hold. And that'll bring you into your close call modes. So you basically hit the E button and then you're able to go into here and select whatever you need. Another thing in this menu is the review lockouts. So if you have anything locked out with the lockout key, this is where you're gonna bring them back. So you basically hit the E key, and then you can review the lockout frequency, or you can just simply unlock all the lockouts that you have. All right, and then lastly, um, to lock the keypad, you basically just hit the function key, and then the lockout button, and that locks the keypad. Do that again. And then to program a frequency manually, you hit the function key and then the program key. Now you're able to enter your frequency here, you can enter your alpha tag, and then all your other information that you have, you can enter here. Delete a channel, clear a bank, and then of course, exiting out of the menu. All right guys, well the second part of this video, I'll be showing you how to program it with the software, so I will catch you there. All right guys, for the next part of our video, we're going to go to the Uniden website to download the programming software for the BC125AT. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy my hyperlink that I have up here, this uniden.com slash unidenman4 slash BC125AT. Once you have that, you're going to go to this zip file right here. You're going to right click on it. You can just download it if you want, just click on it. <clears throat> Once it does that, you'll see like a little download start at the bottom of your screen. You can go ahead and open it. You're going to run, uh, run this setup exe. Seeing as I already have this installed, I'm not going to do the full thing, but it's very easy. You basically just hit run and follow the steps until it's finished. Now that you have the software opened, you're gonna need a set of frequencies. I pulled these from radioreference.com. I highly recommend checking out their website if you need frequencies to, to uh, pull from. You can also subscribe to them to get further information and updates on their channel or on their website. So what you're gonna do, um, the easiest way to do this would be to import all of your information that you pull into an Excel spreadsheet, however, that can be kind of complicated if you're, you know, very entry level on this kind of thing, not very tech savvy. So basically all you need to do is just copy the frequency and then you can paste it right here. And then you're going to take the alpha tag, copy that, and then paste that right under the name. So you have your frequency and then you have your alpha tag. And then you just basically take all the ones that you want and fill them in here. So 
So now that you have the frequencies in there that you want, <clears throat> what you can do is uh, you need to make sure that the scanner is connected to your computer. So when you connect the scanner to your computer, make sure you turn it on. It should find the uh, scanner automatically, but if it doesn't, you know, you're going to have to install the drivers and that might take a little bit longer, so I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my scanner up. See, now that I turn my scanner on, the COM port has been detected. So now what you do, very simple, you just click on scanner, and then you do write to scanner, and then hit OK. And that's basically it, guys. Um, it's going to clear out what information is currently on the scanner, and then it's going to write the new stuff that you have. All right, you're all done. So if you have batteries in the unit, you can go ahead and disconnect your USB cable. All right, guys, as always, thank you for watching our videos. If you did enjoy this video, please subscribe to our channel. You can give us any comments or uh, any questions that you have down in the comments section below, and we will catch you next time.